Hello today's video we have the following content. The Legend of Bruce Lee Martial Arts Ranking, Bruce Lee is not the first, I man ranks fourth. The Legend of Bruce Lee tells the legendary story of Bruce Lee from being uninterested in academic studies when he was young but fascinated by martial arts, to eventually becoming a martial arts master and movie star. In the play, Bruce Lee became a disciple of Ip Man after a failed street fight when he was young, and eagerly learned martial arts. At the age of 17, he won the Hong Kong Boxing Championship shortly after he came into contact with boxing, and then fell into the pursuit of gangs because of his youthful vigor. Under the arrangement of his father, he went to San Francisco, USA to be self-reliant, and experienced various challenges such as working in a restaurant and establishing a martial arts school. In the end, with his own efforts and talents, he not only promoted Chinese Kung Fu in the United States, but also successfully entered Hollywood and became an international movie star. In the TV series The Legend of Bruce Lee, the martial arts strength of the characters is a fascinating topic. The ranking and introduction of the martial arts strength of the characters may be somewhat subjective and dramatic. The following is a rough ranking based on the plot and character performance. Xiao Bo, Xiao Ruhe, Martial Arts Strength Rating, Very High. Introduction, Xiao Bo is one of Bruce Lee's important figures in the play and has a profound influence on Bruce Lee's growth. He is not only one of Bruce Lee's martial arts enlightenment, but also regarded by Bruce Lee as the most powerful martial artist in Hong Kong. Xiao Bo's martial arts attainments are profound, and his high martial arts skills are fully demonstrated in the play. One-Armed Man Martial Arts Strength Rating, Very High Introduction, the one-armed man is a villain in the play, but his martial arts strength is amazing. He fought Bruce Lee with one hand, showing extremely high martial arts skills and combat experience. Although he is a fictional character, his performance in the play is enough to prove his strong martial arts strength. Bruce Lee Martial Arts Strength Rating, High Introduction, as the protagonist, Bruce Lee's martial arts strength is fully demonstrated in the play. He grew from a teenager fascinated by martial arts to a generation of martial arts masters. He not only mastered many martial arts schools, but also created Jeet Kune Do. Bruce Lee's martial arts strength has been verified and improved through many challenges and competitions in the play. Ip Man's martial arts strength rating, high. Introduction, Ip Man is Bruce Lee's master and a master of Wing Chun. He taught Bruce Lee martial arts skills and life philosophy in the play, which had an indelible impact on Bruce Lee's growth. Ip Man's martial arts strength has been fully demonstrated in the play, especially in the competition with masters, which shows his profound martial arts skills. Eddie Parker's martial arts strength rating, relatively high. Introduction, Eddie Parker is one of the villains in the play, known as the King of Victory. He stole Bruce Lee's Japanese punch and fought with Bruce Lee many times. Although he sometimes used despicable means, his strength should not be underestimated. His performance in the play proves his martial arts strength as a karate master. Hoffman's martial arts strength rating, relatively high. Introduction, Hoffman is a karate master who has won the championship for three consecutive years, and his strength is above Eddie Parker. Although his fight with Bruce Lee in the play ended in failure, it also showed his strong martial arts skills. Muay Thai King Chatter won martial arts strength rating, high. Introduction. Muay Thai King Chatter Wong is one of the fictional characters in the play, and his Muay Thai skills are superb. Although the play does not directly show his fight with Bruce Lee, it can be inferred from the plot description that his martial arts skills should not be underestimated. Rolex Martial Arts Strength Rating, Medium Introduction, Rolex is a three-time American fighting champion. When he fought with Bruce Lee in the play, he showed good martial arts skills. However, due to the small number of scenes in the failure to defeat Bruce Lee in the end, he ranked relatively low. Yellow Skin Boy Martial Arts Strength Rating, Medium Introduction, Yellow Skin Boy is one of Bruce Lee's nemesis and fought with Bruce Lee many times in the play. His boxing skills have been unanimously recognized by the national martial arts community, but due to his personality and behavior problems, his martial arts skills have not been fully utilized. Martial Arts Strength Rating of Other Characters, such as Blair, Wang Yunshen, etc., depends on specific performance. Introduction, these characters also have good martial arts performance in the play, but due to space limitations and plot requirements, they are not detailed. Their martial arts strength rankings may vary depending on personal preferences and understanding of the plot. The above rankings and introductions are subjective judgments based on the plot and character performance, and there may be some controversy and deviations. Welcome to Communicate and Discuss. Next news.
Bruce Lee's driver's license is 16 years older than his Mercedes-Benz. Have you seen it? Bruce Lee's driver's license is 16 years older than his Mercedes-Benz. Have you seen it? Recently, a Mercedes-Benz sports car was exhibited in Bruce Lee's 50 Years of Unchanged Photography exhibition. As soon as this car appeared, people immediately thought of the Kung Fu superstar Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee drove this Mercedes-Benz back then. Although Bruce Lee has passed away for nearly 51 years, his influence is still far-reaching. The Jeet Kune Do he founded is still a classic for martial arts enthusiasts. His movies such as Way of the Dragon, Fist of Fury and Enter the Dragon are still talked about by fans. I thought Bruce Lee's Mercedes-Benz was quite old, but unexpectedly, his driver's license was even older. Bruce Lee was driving a Mercedes-Benz 350 SL at the time. The Mercedes-Benz SL series was launched in 1954. SL means sport light in German. Bruce Lee's Mercedes-Benz SL is a third-generation model with chassis number R107. The model was produced in 1971 and stopped production in 1989. The body size is, length 4580 mm, width 1791 mm, height 1298 mm, wheelbase 2456 mm. This car is equipped with a 3.5 liter V8 engine, with a maximum horsepower of 190 and a maximum torque of 286 Nm. It is equipped with a 4-speed automatic transmission, an acceleration of about 8.8 .8 seconds per 100 km, and a maximum speed of 210 km per hour. The production cycle of the Mercedes-Benz R107 series is as long as 18 years. Therefore, this car is one of the longest produced models in the Mercedes-Benz SL series. In the 1970s and 1980s, the Mercedes-Benz SL was one of the most sought-after luxury sports cars. In 1972, the price of this car in Hong Kong was about 50,000 to 60,000 Hong Kong dollars. Being able to drive a Mercedes-Benz 50 years ago shows Bruce Lee's economic strength at the time. In fact, Bruce Lee was already quite rich in the early 1970s. In the late 1960s, Bruce Lee proposed cooperation with Shaw Brothers. His requirements included, a salary of 10,000 yuan, a shooting period of no more than 60 days, and a script must be approved by him before shooting. Run Run Shaw thought Bruce Lee's conditions were too harsh, so he did not cooperate with him. Later, Bruce Lee returned to the United States. At the same time, Zhu Yin Hui was looking for actors to shoot martial arts movies. He thought Bruce Lee was very suitable, so he tried to invite Bruce Lee back to Hong Kong, which marked the official cooperation between Golden Harvest and Bruce Lee. In 1971, Golden Harvest invited Bruce Lee to shoot Fist of Fury. As soon as the film was released, it became a hit and broke the box office record in Hong Kong. The box office revenue was nearly 3.2 million yuan. After that, Fist of Fury became the top 10 films in Hong Kong that year. Later, Bruce Lee filmed films such as Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon and Enter the Dragon. Although Bruce Lee's film works are few, these works have pushed Golden Harvest into the international market. With martial arts movies, Bruce Lee became an international superstar. According to statistics, in the 1970s, Bruce Lee's Kung Fu movies had been sold in more than 140 countries and regions, and many young people had imitated Bruce Lee. Fifty years ago, Bruce Lee became famous all over the world. In 1972, when Bruce Lee bought this Mercedes-Benz 350 SL, Hong Kong had not yet introduced this car. Bruce Lee got his driver's license earlier than buying the Mercedes-Benz. According to data, Bruce Lee had obtained a temporary driver's license in 1956. Bruce Lee's AX 6521 license plate is also worth mentioning. This license plate is full of fatherly love. As we all know, Bruce Lee's son is named Brandon Lee, born on February 1, 1965. Therefore, Bruce Lee deliberately chose 6521 as the license plate number to express his deep love for his son. Although Bruce Lee has passed away for nearly 51 years, his legendary story still inspires countless people. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 